in hell, purgatory, where else can can we go? Limbo. Um, what's that? Limbo. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Vegas. Vegas. Spa. Yeah. Spa day for the boys. Um, no, you pretty much got the run of it. You know what I mean? It's um, uh, you know, uh, where else can we go? Well, what we can do is deal with the ramifications of all that, which is what we're doing at the beginning of our season. Um, I don't think it's a secret that the boys are. Um, we'll find a way to reunite here at the beginning of the, of the season, and I think while they're um, coming together in search of something that is deeply personal and harkens back to their earliest days together, um, they're still both dealing with the after effects and the continuing effects of those kind of part. It's just awful. It's just, how do you get up in this thing, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just horrible. Um, what's something that you haven't seen in the show yet that you think that you'd like to or you're going to bring to the new season? Well, one thing we're doing this year is we're playing with structure. We're playing with, um, you know, there's a lot of times when uh, people go away. Very specific story. And that's Sam Dean and Cass. Uh, yeah. And um, uh, going on, uh, and uh, we have committed structurally to really devoting a lot of our episodes to filling in blanks. Again, we're telling a story in the present day, and we're telling a story in the past day, and it's all sort of really meshing together. So that's one, that's one of the things that, I, from a storytelling perspective, we haven't really done. So, in all of the seasons, we have uh, sort of the main arc that's going on. Like last season, we had the Leviathan. Right. You know, we've had uh, a, a bunch of stuff going on. But there are certain episodes where it's just the boys hunting. Right. Um, is this going to be a season where we have a lot of episodes just the boys hunting, or do you think it's going to be sort of a string of the same plot? Uh, I think you're going to see um, me, a, a mythology that is um, a little bit more digestible in separate fights this year, so that we can pop away and do these one-off episodes. Um, that said, many of these one-off episodes, not many, some of these many one-off episodes, as they always do, deal with the boys' sort of emotional arc that they're going through that will um, involve you know, residue from their experience of their time with Mark. So, yeah. yeah. Has there been a uh, moment during your tenure, you look back and you look at some of your decisions and you say, geez, that could have gone so wrong and I'm glad we didn't screw that up. Like, what, what, what sort of the thing you look back on and you say, whew, you know, breathe with a sigh of relief? Um, let's see. I mean, for me, I mean, it's probably uh, a couple of my, well, there was one of my first episodes when I didn't get fired after my first episode huh. in Sin City. Um, okay. The, um, episodes that were a little trickier that I did uh, were like Mystery Spot or Changing Channel or um, uh, even uh, in the beginning, in the beginning with a real emotional sort of like journey and I, in fact, in, fact, in the beginning, even more than the crazier ones, it was, it, there was so much weight on it in terms of ensemble of the boys and I felt a real obligation to, uh, to uh, get it right emotionally. So, and, so and, and I think I was happy with they all, how they all turned out. You know. So they've literally defeated um, like Satan. They've done so many things right. where for most shows that would be the series finale. And you raise the stakes from the Leviathan, which uh, I mean everything was really well. But how do you raise the stakes from there? I think you um, make it even more personal.
having to deal with the fact that, that each change in significant way is a time apart, and part of their maturation is learning to deal with it and still get back in that car. Has there ever been a moment where you thought, I've said everything I need to say about these characters and maybe a moment of anxiety and then it breaks on the other side and you're like, oh, okay, I can say some more. I think you did describe every morning about 5.30 a.m. So, you know, so, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it's a pleasure to do it, you know what I mean? But, you know, and if anything, to be frank, stepping out for two years was a great sort of like, Certain people may be, they may be weary or just like it's like. I think part of my mission this year was to. Here we go. We're not done. Let's do it, guys. You know. And, uh, I apologize. The mythology we have is intended to have legs beyond the season. Um, uh, in terms of end in sight, if there is, no one has told me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, good news. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.